All right, welcome back. Um, Today is going to be a quick one. I want to show you an extremely helpful way to use ChatGPT as a filmmaker uh, to help you write a storyboard uh, and a script. So we're going to do that today. We're going to just going to be a complete walkthrough, and um, we're going to dive right into it. So take a look at my screen. If you're in ChatGPT. Uh, this is the first thing you see when you land on the page, and um, I you can do this with with um, with ChatGPT GPT Plus, which is what I recommend for this. Um, ChatGPT is a paid program uh, if you use the Plus version. Uh, some aspects you would be able to do with the free version, but the actual storyboarding aspects of it, uh, you would need the the paid plus version in order to generate. So let's dive right into it. So you start with this blank screen and we're gonna make up a story right here together, uh, right here on YouTube. Um, so coming up with the story, let's say I don't have an idea for a story. Um, I'll just ask it, come up with five script ideas that are one page in length. And exciting. All right. All right. Neural heist, sci fi thriller, last delivery and action thriller, the ghost network, cyberpunk mystery. And it's generating Void Racer, which is a sci fi action, and Memory Hunter, which is sci fi noir. So here's the thing, um, I actually do have settings in my ChatGPT where it knows that I'm a filmmaker and it knows that my preferences are related to science fiction. Um, so that is, is something that actually helps tailor it to the things that I'd be most interested in. So uh, Memory Hunter or Neural Heist, I think we're just gonna go with the first one, Neural Heist. And then I can just say, um, I'm gonna say let's go with with Neural Heist, but I want the main character to be named Molly. And let's see what else we want to change about this. We've got a rogue scientist implanting stolen memories into high profile targets, framing them for crimes they never committed. I like that. Um, Let's say she's working, she's working for um, the government. And starts to doubt their intentions are for good. That's kind of weird. She's already framing people for crimes they never committed. But at the same time, she thought she was doing it for good and now she's doubting it. So, um, write one page. All right. Chat GPT's goes. All right. So as you can see here, um, we've got the high-tech interrogation room, which is dimly lit. Of course, it's always dimly lit because these very high-tech organizations don't have budgets for lots of lights. Or they might have neurodivergent uh, folks working who don't really like bright lights like me. Um, either way, we've got a corporate exec. He just says he doesn't know anything. So there's some proceeding with the extraction. I'm just skimming through. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to say that um, I want um, put this over here. Let's just say make make the agents even more aggressive. And of course, we're just doing this as a demo. Um, so what you would do in yours is, you, you know, you might not be wanting to make the same updates that I'm making. But the, the point is, is that you should be iterating, right? You get a version of it. You don't have to just accept that that is make the agents even more aggressive and make Mally's responses more disrespectful 
and flippant. Let's see how this goes. So now it's gonna do it again. As you can see here, it says it's editing. It goes back in. It makes the updates in place. As you can kind of see that little gray, that kind of obscure hover, it's, it's going through the script and it's making the updates. And she added, see what it added? So she's definitely more flippant. Catch me if you can, losers, or what, you'll bore me to death. So it's, it's clearly listened to what I said to it. It's made those updates. And here's one of the things, when people tell you that, oh, uh, AI can't write a good script. Sure, AI might not on its own write the most amazing script in the world, but AI guided by a human writer like me, you can just keep updating it and changing it. Um, you can tell it specific lines to write. You can, you can take these and you can flip them however you want, and then you will get an amazing script. And I'll, and I'll be honest, like I feel as though the scripts that I've written since I've been working with AI and with ChatGPT to write them are better because it allows me to stay creative and focus on the thing that I'm good at, which is being creative, and, and the things that I'm less good at, which is just being a typist and sitting there typing things for hours. I don't have to spend as much time worrying about those kind of what I consider lower level administrative functions and I can stay in my higher level creative bag, right, as I'm creating. So as you can see, it's, it's followed my instructions, it's updated it, I'm happy with it. So let's go, now we're good. So let's go back and let's storyboard this all. Um, and to storyboard, I'd probably want a shot list. So I'll say, generate shot list. And there we go. It knows to do an establishing shot, it knows close-ups, it knows I'm gonna want my over the shoulders. It goes into the extreme close-up of these ex eyes twitching under the neural scanner. I may actually need to go ahead and make this script, to be quite honest. <laughs> I'm liking how this is flowing. But it's got it's got all my shots in there, right? And it doesn't take me forever to sit there and, and type those things out. If I wanted to make changes, I could. So let's just say, remove the steady cam. Remove the steady cam because I don't have access to one. So don't want it to have a steady cam shot. It's gonna update that. Here comes our shot list. Oh, insert shots are fine. The VFX work on the holographic data, that's fine, I can handle that. POV shots, tracking shots are all no problem. Over the shoulders, perfect. I love my close-ups. That's what pulls us into the story, right? And as we can see, it's got some quick cut, cut close-ups of Mally shutting down the scanner. I like that because that's where the, the action starts to happen. It knows that the, the editing should be faster paced. So it's got quick close-up, fast push-in, tracking shot, handheld shot, slow motion, low angle, overhead. Beautiful. It's got a Dutch angle. What, what great action movie is, doesn't have a Dutch angle shot? And as you can see, my Steadicam shot is gone because I told it I don't have a Steadicam. So I'm really happy with that. So let's go to storyboarding. Um, storyboard. The script. Now, it's not going to immediately storyboard all of them. <clears throat> what I'm gonna have to do is tell it to, uh, you know, one by one, start to do that. But what it's first doing is it's breaking out the panels that it, it'll need. And then I'll have it do a couple of panels and then uh, that should be enough to get you guys going. So then you just go on and tell it to do more panels for yours. Uh, but this is beautiful because it's broken out all the panels. And even if I didn't want to, let's say, go with the storyboarding that ChatGPT will do using DALI image generation, I could hand this over to a storyboard artist right now and my communication would be clear because it's literally got all the panels broken out. It matches the storyboard, which I decided that I was happy with. And so, um, you know, so it's ready to go. And then as you can see here, this textual storyboard outlines how the scenes could be visually represented shot by shot. Let me know if you'd like actual illustrated frames. I'd be like, yes, illustrate the first few frames. So 
things for a moment. And the beauty of it is the speed, right? I mean, this is the kind of thing as an, as an independent filmmaker, especially if you're an indie and you don't have the kind of budgets to just go hire the best, fastest uh, storyboard illustrators in the world. Now we can, like how long have we been on this video? A few minutes. And we already have here storyboards. Look at that. It's maintained a consistent style. It's got uh, the shots that we were talking about and it's gone through, it's got the, the overlays and everything like that. So that was a very quick intro to how ChatGPT can help. Uh, whether you're an AI filmmaker or a traditional filmmaker, you're just a filmmaker, but AI in the form of ChatGPT or any other really high-end uh, LLM like Google Gemini can also do this, uh, Leonardo can do this, Claude can do this. Um, you're, you're now empowered with the ability to to actually work out your story to a form that's going to be a lot easier for you to go ahead and execute. So thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content and want more of it, go down right under the, the button there, wherever it is, and smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.